Located in the Recycling Technological Park Lopez Soriano, in Zaragoza, Spain, Aragon's Electric and Electronics Recycling is one of the companies that make up the Lopez Soriano Group, part of the High Tech Cycling Consortium. Due to its volume of operations, facilities and innovative technology employed in electrical and electronic equipment waste recycling and management, Ray is one of the biggest companies in Spain, and at European level. In its facilities, temperature exchange devices, monitors and screens, large electrical appliances, computer and telecommunications equipment, photovoltaic panels, products for transmission, transformation, accumulation and measurement of energy, are recycled and recovered. Since its activity began, more than 50,000 tons of equipment have been recycled, reliably contributing to the production of second-generation raw materials and the sustainability and proper management of waste. The newly arrived materials undergo classification, followed by an initial treatment process, according to their type, as specialized processes for devices with like tube displays, electric stoves and air conditioning devices, are required, for proper decontamination. Next, through manual processes, the components are disassembled and separated according to their type of material, such as plastics, metal or organic. Finally, an automated fragmentation and segregation process separates the materials by their type, extracting and separating the ferrous materials and other metals, such as copper, later to be sold as products to authorized managers. Pre-trituration. The input material first passes a pre-crushing phase through a pre-crushing mill Super Chopper SC1412. In this process, the first dismemberment of the input material is achieved. Following this process, the material is carried, using a vibrating belt, to the next phase. Fragmentation. Depending on the material to be processed, the input material can also be fed directly onto the conveyor belt for introduction into a shredder mill shredder S1000, achieving an approximate size of 40 to 50 mm. To achieve a regular size, a grid is available at the outlet, so that the material continues to fragment until it reaches the optimum size. Once this phase is over, you can start segregating the different materials. Pre-granulation, pre-granulator HPG-125. The remaining material flow or the material that has not gone through the fragmentation stage, is transported by means of belts in the dump feeder, which acts as an intermediate feed hopper for the mill, where the material is again crushed. As in the previous phase of fragmentation, this machine is provided with a 15 to 20 mm grid to obtain a uniform grain size. In order to achieve good results in the separation process, it is important that the material flow has a uniform grain size. Magnetic separation. The chopped material is carried by means of a vibrating conveyor belt to a powerful overband electromagnet to remove the ferrous materials. Segregation of non-ferrous. After separation of the ferrous materials, the rest of the material is transported to a separator by Foucault currents, where small parts of non-ferrous metals are separated again from the material flow. Granulation. The fractional parts that are not separated in the previous stage are transported to a silo to feed the heavy granulator. The granulator HG129 and the granulator HG169 with more power than the previous one allow a greater degree of granulation, thus favoring segregation in the later stages.
Fraction separation. For this phase, separating tables are fed using a pneumatic system and metals are separated from plastics and organic material. Tables C15 and C22 can operate in series or parallel. Mixed fraction segregation. Once the waste has passed through all the stages of the process, a mixed fraction is obtained, containing a percentage of copper, which with the previously available equipment, could not be recovered. Therefore, a water separation table was incorporated at the end of the line, in which by means of oscillating movements and by means of flotation of the differently dense materials in water, it is possible to segregate the copper present in the cables, and other mixed fractions. This separation table has a water tank and a continuous circuit that allows zero discharge. It also has cleaning filters that allow the water to retain its densiometric properties. Of course, the floor is impermeable to possible water spills, and the table has an overflow system that prevents them. delivery to authorized manager. Once the aforementioned activities have been carried out, the final products are delivered to the authorized manager for the fractions resulting from the recycling process. Second generation raw materials capable of reaching the end of waste condition are marketed as products. <laughs>